Y'all, we're trying to get We have dozens of people that got hit by this car. Now we head back to New Orleans, where investigators continue to gather details on Wednesday morning's deadly attack. Cell phone video capturing the scene of bodies sprawled out on the city's famed Bourbon Street. The FBI now believes that the attacker acted alone, killing at least 14 people before police shot and killed him. As the FBI continues its investigation, there are growing questions tonight about those physical barriers used to secure the area, devices called ballers. The defense mechanisms were not in place on Bourbon Street during that attack. Here locally, Old Town Clovis is a very popular spot for events and pedestrians. Our Ben Morris shows us the safety technology the city is utilizing to keep residents there safe. With at least 15 people killed, including the driver of this pickup truck that drove onto a sidewalk and into a crowd on Bourbon Street New Year's Day. The city of Clovis is ready to defend against anything similar down in Old Town with lines of these stainless steel barriers called bollards. The main function that we use them for are going to be our parades, our any, any of the larger events that we have down here. Corporal Dan Wilson with the Clovis Police Department says the bollards here are one of the most effective methods for protecting pedestrians. It's vital in Old Town Clovis, an area popular for big events. So these will actually stop a vehicle. The wooden ones are there as more of a deterrent. These are actually here to stop the vehicles and they will stop a vehicle from coming through. While there were bollards in New Orleans, they were a sliding type removed for repair before the incident. These are manual, easily deployed out of the ground, lining streets and even sidewalks. The city installed nearly 50 in the area back in 2019 for about $250,000. Investment police say was essential in protecting pedestrians then and especially now. We want them to be comfortable. We want them to know that safety is the number one priority. Um, and we do everything we can to try to prevent these types of tragedies from happening. Ben Morris, KC24, local news that matters.